slowly figuring out how to manage my time effectively. I'm trying to spend all, all of my minutes doing something productive. It's including the time on my cell phone. Um, like social media, it used to be, you know, I'm scrolling for hours. Now I'll scroll a little bit, get some ideas, and make my own. So I try to keep that productive as well. And then anything interesting that I'm doing, I I want to document. So I'll film that. Like this motherfucking conversation with myself. And now that I make my own hours, I'm fortunate that I do have motivation now. There was a time there where I, if I didn't have to go, then for sure I'm not, you know? But now I feel my livelihood depends on it, so I need to go. I need to go hustle. Hope, it might not always be like that, you know? Hopefully I can work this into a very good work-life balance. I quit drinking two and a half years ago, but my brain didn't start operating like this for like until eight months ago. I just got, I started thinking clear and I had more motivation and it felt like there was a fog in my brain that was left over from drinking that kind of lifted. And I, I'm sure there's more in my brain that needs to lift so I can even, I can grow even more. But it's been incredible. It's the best fucking thing I've ever done with my life. Hands down. Having a kid? No. I promise I know how to, how to have kids. <laughs> it's quitting drinking. That was the hardest and best thing I've ever done. In my time at the gym, now I've gotten in the habit of getting into fitness that I've got my body to a point where I now need help. I need an expert or just someone that has the knowledge to tell me, you know, how do I, how do I get this bigger? How do I get this smaller? What should I eat? Um, what, what is a good calorie intake? These are the types of questions that are coming up now just because I've gotten here. And I imagine when I get to where I want to go, there'll be more questions and more things for me to follow and try. 